I'm at the Salvation Army here in Norman. This excavator tearing down an old shelter, getting ready to build a new one with more capacity. County commissioners, donors, and community leaders watch close. as the Salvation Army in Norman takes action to enter a new phase. We've been here since 1892, helping the community, serving the community, and we're not going anywhere. An old shelter ripped down brick by brick. Our vision is to uh, expand and help more and meet the need in the community. Salvation Army Captain Russell Clay says a new shelter is planned, but the Salvation Army needs help with the funding. We're trying to meet that need of the homelessness, uh, the, the people out in the cold. Remember, all money raised here stays here, so that way we can help here. I think this place means a lot to the people. Matthew Hatcher knows the importance of the Salvation Army. He's lived in the shelter in Norman for six months and says a new shelter is worth the investment. Well, if people want to give back to the people or pay it forward, the, uh, you know, donating or investing in the Salvation Army is kind of paying the people that do that for, for our people. Captain Clay says a new shelter will cost more than $4 million, and after more than 100 years helping people in need, he's hoping the community will get behind their mission. This was to, uh, a push to let everybody know that we need help, we need, we're serious about what we're doing, and we're so serious that we're going to tear down a building to show that we're committed to this city. So the new construction for the future projects has already received some funding from Cleveland County Commissioners, but the Salvation Army is a community organization. They're hoping to get donations from the community to help pay for the new construction. We'll have information on that in the As Seen On section of KOCO.com. In Norman, Cameron Seibert, KOCO 5 News.